Now at noon, today marks 130 days since the Rhode Island Department of Transportation ordered the sudden shutdown of the westbound side of the Washington Bridge due to structural concerns. We're all waiting to see how this goes. The three lanes on the westbound side of the Washington Bridge are set to open tomorrow morning. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us live with what you can expect and the message state officials have for drivers. Alex. Kristen, starting tonight, RIDOT crews will be on the bridge basically every night for the next week working on the Washington Bridge tonight. Their main priority is getting those three westbound lanes on the bridge ready for tomorrow morning. Now, work starts at 9 tonight and is expected to last until 9 tomorrow morning, though they are working to try to speed up that timeline for uh, those westbound lanes. Uh, after that work is done, crews will start repaving both sides on the, of the bridge on Sunday. That work is expected to take all week long. Now, crews will be out from 9 at night until 5 in the morning every day, repaving, restriping, and adding reflectors to make roads safer. Now, the goal of all this work is to reduce that traffic nightmare we are all too familiar with since the Washington Bridge shut down. State officials are urging everyone to do their part to avoid any issue, and that includes following the new 40-mile-per-hour speed limit, staying in your lane, and avoiding the temptation of using your phone while waiting in traffic. Don't be that person. Don't be that person. We are asking everyone to do their part and put the phone down. Now, the governor says since the bridge has been shut down, they're seeing about two to three crashes on the bridge a day, uh, most of them minor. However, state police will be out there enforcing these new rules, and they say that they will be targeting aggressive drivers. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.